If you're looking for the best smartphone for photography or video recording, then you have come to the right place. Cameras and smartphones have come a long way over the last few years with a number of features that have greatly improved the quality of images produced by smartphones, including optical image stabilization, larger sensors, bright lenses and even optical zoom making them even better for photography. The photographic capabilities of smartphones have become such a massive selling feature that many premium smartphones now support shooting raw images so you can take complete control over image processing. Here we highlight some of the best camera phones we have reviewed up till now and what makes them unique so you can make a more informed purchase next time you upgrade or buy a new smartphone. Before jumping into the video, if you haven't subscribed, you're welcome to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you should be updated for all the amazing videos that are coming up from this channel. With the same cameras as the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is bound to impress. However, Samsung has updated the software to include auto scene recognition which will automatically apply optimum settings to deliver better photos. There's a large 6.4 inch screen which makes composing and viewing photos a great experience. There's manual shooting, letting you select 1.5 or 2.5 or 2.4 apertures with the wide angle lens. There's also raw support, auto HDR and an 8 megapixel selfie camera with autofocus ensuring selfies are correctly focused. As you would expect with a premium smartphone, it's waterproof with an IP68 ready. It has plenty of RAM and storage and comes with a Bluetooth stylus that can be used as a remote shutter release. ISO speeds from 50 to 1250 can be used and there's a large 4000 mAh battery for great battery life. The Hawaii P30 Pro is an impressive smartphone that massively improves on the Hawaii P20 Pro. That's a triple camera setup supported by a TOF sensor, 5x optical zoom, 10x hybrid zoom and a 4200mAh battery powering the whole thing. There's a decent amount of storage, good AI features and improved portrait mode and the P30 Pro takes better selfies than the P20 Pro did. Combine this with its smart design, great display and improved night mode, you have got a smartphone worth paying attention to. As we said in our review, we can clearly see the direction why smartphones are going in, which is definitely an exciting one for photographers and with so much progression in just a few years, it will be very interesting to see what they bring to the smartphone world next. The Samsung Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus and S10 5G offer premium features, excellent results and a great smartphone experience. Also considering the recent woes faced by other smartphone companies, if you're looking for a premium multi-camera smartphone, then getting the Samsung Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus is a great choice. Overall, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus delivers a great triple camera setup with a better than expected selfie camera as well. The Vivo X51 5G is a smartphone that instantly grabbed our attention. It has an impressive lineup of cameras, a gimbal and what's on offer in terms of lens choice cannot be snubbed. It's rare that you find a smartphone where all of the built-in cameras are actually useful but on the Vivo X51 5G they are. Low light performance is good and as we have mentioned the choice of zoom options makes it a more usable smartphone. The gimbal technology is impressive, producing steady video footage at 1080p with ease when super anti-shake mode is selected. It's also nice to see some new technology appearing in smartphones which will all become a bit semi of late. Overall, we like what the X50 has to offer and we think you will too. The device will feature 4 cameras overall. In addition to the main camera, the Pixel 6 Pro will also include an ultra-wide camera on the back and a 4x telephoto camera as well. We don't know what is the fourth sensor on the back. The phone's front-facing camera, on the other hand, will allegedly be able to shoot 4K video based on the latest leak 
A 50 megapixel wide angle camera will be backed by a 48 megapixel telephoto camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. That telephoto camera could include 5x ultra telezoom. A 12 megapixel selfie camera will be included. A selfie flash was also tipped in one of the latest reports. The Sony Xperia 1 III is a flagship smartphone with premium features and a price to match. Its quirky shape also means it won't be for everyone but those who have used Sony Xperia smartphones previously or for the customer looking for something a bit different, the Sony Xperia 1 III could be the smartphone for them. We like the camera improvements. The display is great and the battery life will keep you capturing photos all day. Sony built it as the next level of Xperia and we have to say, we most certainly agree. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus specs a host of impressive specs and produces images with great color and dynamic range. It also features live focus video, so you can change the amount of blur in the background as you feel. If you want the ultimate flagship smartphone, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is the phone for you. Overall, the Note 10 Plus has a stunning all screen display, great image quality, fun camera features, and fantastic video functionality. Both the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max are excellent propositions which produce fantastic and very similar quality images. However, we recommend sticking with smaller 12 Pro and saving yourself a bit of cash unless you particularly want a very large screen. The OnePlus 9 Pro offers a good range of cameras with an ultra-wide angle, a wide angle and a 3.3x telephoto camera. All three cameras have been optimized with the assistance of Hasselblad. The phone is fast and responsive and has a great looking screen as well as excellent handling with a physical switch to set the noise profile. It's also great value for money as a premium smartphone but with a price much lower than many of the other flagships on the market. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G offers not only a 3x telephoto lens but also a 10x telephoto lens as long as you don't use the additional digital zoom. Then results can be very good. It has a great 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and an excellent 108 megapixel man wide angle camera. Images can look a little oversaturated on the phone's screen but look good when viewed on a computer and have a slight lean towards warm rather than cool color reproduction which will be preferred by many. We were impressed by the results and apart from the night mode which can have some issues, we would say that the S21 Ultra produces some of the best looking photos we have seen on a smartphone. The added 10x telephoto zoom is the added IC on the cake. One thing to be aware of is the price which is definitely high and you will most likely need to buy the more expensive version with 256 or 512 GB storage if you want to record 8K or 4K video. And there is no micro SD card slot so no cheap way to expand your memory when you end up filling up the phone. If you do use the smartphone for video then the director's view as well as the ability to record 4K 60 frames per second video with any of the cameras makes the S21 Ultra a great choice. If you have liked our list, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you should be notified for the next amazing videos. Stay tuned and stay blessed.